Williams here again from the GWIS Business and Coaching Academy where we teach coaches, managers and business owners how to become exceptional recreational gymnastics teachers, run lucrative businesses and serve thousands of children. One of the questions that you should be asking if you're thinking about entering this industry or if you've been in the industry for a while and you're wanting to improve your results is what are the key communication points that I as a coach need to get across to the children in most of my sessions, if not all of my sessions. And I actually outlined 22 key communication points that really should be there within every session. And I'm going to go through them with you now. We start off here with inspiration. You need to communicate to the children that you're inspired, you want to teach them. It's contagious. When you're inspired, they're inspired. The next key communication point is trust. Children need to trust you. They need to know that you're a safe teacher, you're a fair teacher, the next point, and that you give all the children equal attention and they can trust you with their intimate feelings and their bodies. Teach them why. Why do we do these exercises? Communicate to the children what the importance of the various exercises, conditioning, stretching, warm-up, drills, progressions are that you're actually doing in the lessons with them. When you communicate why, you've got a lot of absolute support from the kids doing the movement and you'll see your results going up like this. Challenge. Every session should have a little challenge from the smallest children all the way up to the most advanced. The children need to be challenged. Even if it's a tiny little thing like, let's see who can be the neatest child today and pack our shoes out together, keep our shoes neat with our socks together today. Let's see who can be polite today. Let's see who can really listen well and clearly understand the instruction. Or let's see who can be the first to stick their front somersault. Little challenges, important to get them motivated in the session. Another important communication point that you need to give the children is reward. Reward them. Verbally praise them. Descriptive praise. I like the way you kept your legs straight in that cartwheel. All with little certificates at the end of each term. Rewarding them, praising them for their achievements. Very important. Every session they need to be rewarded. You need to communicate to the children the techni technical requirements of the skills. So we teach them why must they keep their back straight in a handstand? Why must they punch up fast after a round off? Teach them the technical skills and communicate this in your lessons. You're not only a coach, you're a teacher as well. Demand, very key communication point, is to demand from them what you want. So in a nice way, you keep reinforcing. Last time, we spoke about your legs. Do you think you can try and keep your knees straight this time? And don't let them go on it. Really keep demanding the effort or the technique that you're wanting from them. Change. Change your approach. Communicate to the children that you don't only have one teaching approach. If a child is not learning the movement within a certain few turns and you're saying the same thing over and over again, change your approach. Use, your vi use a visual cue. Ask another child to demonstrate that's one of the key communication points in gymnastics. Children are visual learners. Demonstrate the movements to them. If you can't do it yourself, find another child who can do it to show your class. This brings me to the point of edification, which is over here. At the end of each lesson, sum up what you've learned. Reward the children that have tried. Make sure that you actually teach and reinforce and edify the main point of the lesson or the main thing that you were trying to get across that day. Clarity. Clarity of communication. Clear, concise, short demands and short instructions. Okay? And feedback. Good, your legs were straight. Or arms up. Or fast. Those are the most effective and clear ways of communicating. Not a long lecture or a long story. Spot. Something you have to learn, even from the smallest little ones when you're helping them jump on the trampoline. It also builds trust, remember, when you spot them because they can feel that you're helping them. But spotting not only builds trust and is important for safety, 
it also helps them feel the correct way of doing the movement. So it, it's a teaching aid to be able to spot. Spot in every session. Reinforce. Reinforce every single thing that you've demanded from them. So when they have their turn, you go back and you reinforce. And we actually use a nice thing called verbal prompts. So if you said to Mary, Mary, your round off needs to go straight, you're putting your hand skew. Next time round when Mary comes, you just use a verbal prompt, straight round off. And that helps her actually get it into her mind just before she goes with the chances of the success being better. Very important communication method, verbal prompts. Ergonomics, teach the children, communicate to the children that we have a flow of work, we have a flow of activity. You go from the one to the next, to the next, to the next. You don't cut across the mats like this, especially little ones. You have to teach them the safe way of moving around the gym. I teach the children that it's like a road. Okay, you have to stop, look left, look right before you can cross over. Same in the gym ergonomics of movement, not only for safety, but also for a more productive session. Here we have know the child. You need to communicate not overtly, but subtly, that every child is treated individually, every child is known, you know where they're coming from, you know if they're having a bad spell, you know if they're having a good spell, you know if they need more boundaries, you know if they need more gentleness. You need to be intuitively in touch with your children and communicate that to them in the way that you handle them. Very, very important. Energy and enthusiasm. This is linked up closely with inspiration. I don't think I need to say anything more about that. Have energy. Even if you don't have energy when you start the gym session, get the energy. And by the time you're five, seven minutes into the session, you'll be lifted up. Warmth. Warmth. Recreational gymnastics is not hardcore. You need to be warm, you need to engage, you need to make that relationship with the children. The warmth of the teacher is fundamental and a key communication in every single lesson. Every minute count. Communicate to the children that we don't come here just to mess around and waste time. Even though it is recreational gymnastics, we want them to learn something. And so we make every minute count and we have stations all along the way. We use our drills and props on the way back from our main station. We make sure our class sizes are small enough so that children can have a good flow of work. And it communicates at a deep level that they are there to have a very good workout. Discipline. Key, key, key communication. The way you discipline yourself, if you are disciplined, if you are always on time, if you are neatly dressed, if you have the same routine that you do every time, the children will become disciplined. You can use other methods of discipline. There are a lot of methods that we talk about in other videos. But the key thing is that you need to have control of your class and you need to know how to set the boundaries and have consequences for the children that don't actually listen and that transverse or transgress the boundaries, should I say. Logical drills, we've spoken about that in our flow, in our ergonomics. Make sure that you communicate to the children why we're we doing the drills, why are we doing a lot of backward limbers while we're learning flick flex. Why? Because it's a logical drill to develop the flexibility and the movement pattern for the flick flex. So on the way back, they can work on that while they're actually practicing their flick flex with their coach. So I hope you enjoyed that. 22 key communication points to bring across in every single recreational gymnastics lesson or tumbling lesson that you're doing. If you'd like to know more, go to www.gwizbusinessacademy.com forward slash tumbling coaches blueprint and I'll see you on the other side.